Hello, good day and welcome to Josu. My name is Edwin and on this video we'll be showing you some, some a few steps or a few things you can do to restore your connection. So if adventure you are working on site and then your rover goes from fixed to float. Just a few things you can do to make sure it comes back to fix so that you can continue your work. That is what we are going to be discussing on this. We hope that you follow us on all our social media platforms on Instagram, Facebook, on LinkedIn, and even on TikTok. And also subscribe to our YouTube channel, like, share this video, comment your suggestions about this video and what you would like to see on our next video. So thank you very much and let's proceed to the exercise. As you can see, uh, I've done a, uh, I've done the connections already. The base is set up, the rover is set up, and now it is fixed. So, if you're working with a base and rover like this, some of the things that can make your rover go from uh, fixed to float is when you you have interference. So, if there's something blocking the receiver from tracking the from seeing the sky, it can make your GNSS to go from fixed to flow so what you just do is avoid those areas like top buildings then going on that tree and going on that shade so that your gnss can see the sky clearly so it can remain fixed another thing is if you if there's interference in the radio range so you can just what you need to do there is you can just go back to your rover setup on the device page click on rover and then reapply your internal radio work mode. So you just select your work mode that you've been using before and then you reapply. That one will quickly reinitialize the connection that, that was working before and then your rover, your rover can go back to fixed. Another thing is if you, if you do that and it's still not fixed, you might want to raise the receiver for a minute until you get fixed. Also, it's good to use High length your rubber pole should be at maximum length now uh, pole is the pole height is at 1.8 so if you are having that issues of going to float and fix you can increase the length of the pole so now we can increase to two meters even we have 2.2 yeah so you can use 2.2 so that the the receiver can go up and then it can track satellites easily another thing is if you have a five meter pole you can use that as well it will extend the length of the receiver and then it can over go over those shadows and all the stuff that we're blocking the signal so that is one thing now for that is what you do for your robot now another thing is if you do those if you if you don't know those stuff and it's still not fixed you might need to go and check your base so I'm going to show you something now. If you check, if you check our receiver here, you see the base is on, the rover is on. This orange light on the base means it is transmitting. Now these uh, receivers can work either as base. Any of them can work as can work as base. Any of them can work as rover. So for this one now that we are using as our base. Now that it is sending the signal, it is showing the orange colored light, which means it is transmitting. Also, this one is also transmitting. So when you go back to where your base station is to check, if I adventure you've done, you've reapplied the rubber setup and it's still not fixed, you need to go and check your base. So first thing you check is if your base is still on. So if it's on and then you check if it is transmitting. So those are the things you need to check. If it's not transmitting again, you need to reapply the base work mode. So also another another thing that can also interfere with your receiver when you're working on site is the frequency you are using now for frequency the radio frequency the radio signal that is traveling from the base coming to the rover is transmitted to a radio frequency now what happens is if you have another person working around your site and is using the same radio mode and then if his own receiver is transmitting with the same frequency that your own is transmitting with 
it can interfere with your own so in that case what you will do sometimes your even your robot can connect to their base so what you can do in that situation is you need to you go to the uh, connection disconnect from your rover that is fixed or float so i will Device disconnect disconnected. and then i will connect to my base so this is the serial number for my base device connected now base. i will go Internal to radio i'll go to the base setup and then i will modify the internal radio that i'm using so i'll click on modify go to radio i will change this channel now for Sino Genesis, once you change your channel, it will change the frequency. So you don't need to set your frequency again. What you just need to do for Sino Genesis is you change the channel. So I want to change to channel 2. If you check, the uh, frequency for channel 2 is uh, 456.05. If I go back to channel 6, see it's 460. So I'm going to channel 2 that is different from uh, the channel that I was using before. So I will click on confirm. And then I will click on save and then I will apply the setup. So watch again, this still is going to configure our base on the same ordinary system on the same job we're doing just with another frequency. So now this base is set up rover. successfully. If we go Device to our rover now, if we, if we go to our rover, it's not going to fix because Device connected. Fixed. Rover internal radio because not see, it has gone to flow because the frequency that the base is transmitting from is not the same frequency that the rover is receiving so we also need to change the rover frequency so i'll go to my rover setup click on click on internal gs uh, internal radio and then i will change my channel to channel 2 which i was using on the uh, which i set up on the base so i'll click on confirm and then i will save click on ok and then i'll apply So now our rubber is fixed. Okay, so how frequency works is if you are using a walkie talkie and I'm on channel one, also my colleague is on channel one. When I send the free the signal from my radio to his own radio, it he will receive it. Now, if I have another person walking around or using a walkie talkie around, and if that person is still on channel one whatever the person sent or whatever the person says into his walkie talkie i will also receive it because we are all on the same channel so the same thing the same way it is for walkie talkie that's how it is for tnss signals because they are all transmitting on radio frequency so that is it those are the things you do to restore your fixed connection when you're working on site and it goes off Another step is, another way is if you are connecting your rover to a call station. Basically, you are using the internet connection for that. Now, two ways. If you have SIM card in your receiver, you just go and apply the internal work, uh, internal GSM mode again. It will restore the connection to the base. If you are using a PDA course, probably you are sharing hotspots to your controller or the SIM card is on your controller. You do the same thing, you reapply the PDA course setup. Now, another thing that can interfere with your connection is if you are receiving calls. So, if you are using your phone hotspot, sharing your phone hotspot to your controller, and then someone calls you, at that point here, you're answering the call, it will stop, it will interrupt the connection, internet connection. So, at that point, your base, your robot will go to float. So the only thing you do is once you when you finish making your call you can apply the setup again and then it will fix then for base you cannot actually check in with the base because it's a call station and it's running 247 unless you are using your personal receiver through the internet so you also go to your base station and check if your base is on and if it is if it is transmitting so 
those are the checks you need to carry out if your receiver the rubber goes from fixed to float while you're working on site so that you can continue your work so thank you and have a wonderful day